And welcome to your Go Market Update for today, the 15th of August. We trust you had a great weekend. I'm Smith Senior Analyst at Go Markets to give you a little meander around the markets to start the week. Let's have a look at the news today. Of course, on Friday, we saw US equity indices closing higher to end another positive week, finishing at three months highs as the bulls remain very much in control. Certainly helped by that inflation data we saw last week, as well as earnings season finishing strongly also. US futures are, however, soft in Asian session to start the week. Asian indices are following that Friday US lead with the ASX up around about 0.5% this morning. European futures are also suggesting a higher open this afternoon. And the US dollar is clinging on to support at six weeks lows. Did bounce a little bit on Friday to hold 105. It is slightly lower again in Asia with the yen outperforming. Gold is holding on to 1800 without moving much over the last few trading sessions. And oil is back down just below $100 in Asian markets today and sitting virtually right on top of the 200 EMA on the Brent crude CFD contract. Copper is also paused at the end of the week, slightly weaker session on Friday, but still ended strongly compared to where it was a week ago. Bitcoin also looks as though it's got some buying interest today. It is still testing that 24,000 key level at the top of the range. Worth keeping an eye on over the next day or so to see if we do actually get a break in that. On the data front, a fairly quiet day today, but we have got Japanese GDP numbers already out. They were better than last month, but softer than expectations. We do have some data coming out of China as well with the retail sales and industrial production numbers also due later on this morning. Let's just have a quick look at a couple of charts that caught our eye this morning. And um, we're going to start in the ASX with AAC, Australian agricultural company involved in the beef production and exporting space. And you can see there a sharp push up towards 190. Looks as though we could have a break on today. And that $2 looks very much on the cards with about a 6.35% move up to test that level that you can see on the chart there. Lithium stocks continue to be strong. If we just have a quick look at AKE, this looks as though it could breach a key level today. You can see there that we're trading around this 1286. Nothing much to stop this going ever higher up towards that $14 mark if we do get a break. But this has been a remarkable performance after this triple bottom type of formation that we saw throughout June and July. The bulls are still very much in control. Um, we're going to look at the US yen. You can see it's pushed down hard against this 133 level. If we do breach that, there could be a move down to 131.59 on the daily chart. Not sure it's going to get all the way down there, of course, because we've got a few potential blocks in the way. But certainly, if we do break 132.96, a test of 132 is certainly potentially on the cards. We may get a pause around 46 pips down, around about this 132.43. Trade safe, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.